What's happening everybody? Boy Big Brando and let's talk about marketing. Now I know there's a lot of people out there that are starting brands, starting businesses, and they're having a hard time with marketing. And they might be seeing other influencers, other content creators talking about paying for ad space on social media platforms and all that stuff. That's fine. If you wanted to do that, there's nothing wrong with it. There are successful stories out there of people using social media marketing, paying for ads, driving sales, doing click funnels, doing all kind of other stuff. That kind of shit works. You just have to pay for it. You know what I mean? For myself, I don't pay for no advertising. I don't pay for any advertising whatsoever. The way I drive my traffic is basically by talking to people on Instagram. Now that sounds crazy as shit and I know that, but I take a way different approach when it comes to marketing, when it comes to a lot of that stuff and it works for myself. It works for a lot of other brands that I talk to that, that kind of walk them through it. But there are those cases that it, it doesn't work for some people and maybe they aren't talking to enough people or maybe they just give up too fast. But for myself, the success rate has been crazy because for years, this is how I've basically targeted all of my customers. And at the same time, that's how I get people to convert and actually make the sale. So in a nutshell, let me just talk to you guys exactly how it works and what my idea process is when it comes to this kind of marketing. And a fair warning, it takes work. You have to put in the work to do this. You're not just clicking send and then you walk away and let the sales just roll in. That's not really how it works. Let me walk you through how I do things. Before anything, I know exactly who I'm selling to. I know who exactly I'm designing this t-shirt for and I know who I want this t-shirt to be on. Now when I say that, I mean that by I know exactly what audience and what customer base I want this t-shirt to live in and I know to the actual person who I wanna sell this thing to. Sounds kinda of stalkerish, sounds really crazy. This is just my thought process on how I do things. So for example, this hoodie right here, boom. Don't get mad, get money. This is actually printed. Let me just show you real close up. This is Econo Puff from Econo Transfer. That's their Puff vinyl. I just wanted to show that real quick. But for this hoodie right here, I'm trying to sell this to somebody, right? I'm putting it up on my social media. I'm not getting no traction. People are just looking at it. That's cool. They might like it a few times or whatever it is. That's cool but it's not doing much. Why is it not doing much? Because it's not getting into the right eyes. Now, do you just go around and start following everybody? Yeah, you could do that, but there's robots that could do that for you, right? There's bots that could just start liking and following a bunch of different pages and pictures and all that, known as ghost followers, and you see how that works. But there's a specific audience that I would like to see this sweater on. So that specific audience is the home business owner, the hopeful entrepreneur, somebody out there getting money, the people that are out there just getting it for themselves. We all know these types. We might be these types. We all know somebody that's really about that. That's who I wanna sell this sweater to. And those people are all over Instagram. Like you could click on the entrepreneur hashtag and see like millions of posts people using that hashtag. So anybody hashtagging entrepreneur, obviously, I would wanna sell this to. Am I gonna sell it to all, I don't know, 50 million people, whoever use that hashtag? No, but now I'm narrowing down the search of my target audience. So let's take that entrepreneur hashtag and just use it as an example. Click on that hashtag, you're gonna see at the top, it's gonna say recent and it's gonna say popular, some shit like that on Instagram. You could click on recent. These are all the people that just posted or just hashtag something with entrepreneur. All you have to do is go in there, click on that, click on the page, see what post it is. You could see if it's just a meme. You could see if it's an actual picture of somebody that's feeling real entrepreneurial at the moment because maybe they got a suit on, maybe they got their Gary V beanie on and they just feel like they're in the zone. Cool, you don't even have to comment on that picture you could open up their page, look at the rest of their pictures. You could scroll down and comment on something from like three weeks ago. And it could be a picture of their spaghetti. And you could hit them up and be like, oh shit, man, is that homemade sauce on that spaghetti? That comment has nothing to do with this sweater, right? Has nothing to do with nothing. Has nothing to do with me selling them on anything. Now, in my head, this is how it works. People get sold every single day on Instagram, on Facebook. People are always being sold on something. We've all ran into that struggling local rapper that's like, hey, listen to my music. Hey, I'm the next Drake. I'm the next Jay-Z. Listen to my music. You need this mixtape. Fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. We all seen that guy, right? And what do we do? We just ignore him. Why do we ignore him? Because he's spamming everybody's comments and there's nothing personal about it, right? It's just, oh shit, this guy's just telling me to go listen to his shit. Nah, we just ignore him. We're programmed to ignore when we're being sold. If, if you think about it, 
we're being sold all the time right you ever walk in the middle of the mall and there's a guy trying to sell you a cell phone and he's calling you over like hey 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 you need a new phone hey 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 any chance to get you over to give the sales pitch and what do we do pretend we're on the phone pretend to ignore them walk faster look away from them because we're programmed to not be sold anything so my approach when it comes to marketing is don't sell shit i know i'm trying to sell stuff but my idea is going around the back door of these people and actually creating conversations with them all right so i asked the guy about the spaghetti right here's an entrepreneur struggling entrepreneur hopeful entrepreneur whatever you want to call it he's trying to get his money i want to sell him this hoodie now i know that this hoodie would speak to him because he's already posting about being an entrepreneur and getting money and all that stuff. So this design would speak to him. How do I get this design in his eyeballs? Asking about his spaghetti. Why does his spaghetti have anything to do with this hoodie? Because now we're gonna start a conversation. We're talking about his spaghetti, he replies back. First thing he's gonna do is say, who the hell is Big Brando and why the hell is he asking me about my spaghetti? Then he's gonna say, do I know Big Brando? He's gonna click on my page. When he clicks on my page, what's he gonna see first? this dumbass hoodie in my post. Now you have a potential customer looking at your products organically. Out of curiosity, he wanted to see who I was. He clicked on my name, took him to my page, my top three posts. This hoodie's gonna be in one or two of those posts. I didn't sell him on nothing. I didn't say go buy my hoodie. I didn't say I got a hoodie for you. I didn't say check out my designs. I asked that man about his spaghetti. Curiosity made him click my name curiosity made him look at my t-shirt but all i did was did my research on knowing that this person is an entrepreneur or hopeful entrepreneur and he's about getting his money that's who i want to sell this hoodie to and now i have a potential customer looking at my hoodie does that mean he's gonna buy it probably not but now do that to 30 to 50 people a day and then build it up 50 to 100 and keep building and building and building that's the hard work i'm talking about sounds like a lot of work really not you're taking a shit Say you're on the toilet for 10, 15 minutes. You know how many conversations you could start in 10 to 15 minutes? Instead of scrolling TikTok and scrolling Instagram and doing whatever you're doing while on the toilet, use that time to create these conversations. Now, that 10 minutes right there, you hit up 150 people by clicking that hashtag, going to one person's page, clicking on a random photo. Oh, this person just bought a new car. That's cool. What year is that car? Hey, are you going to put rims on it? Ask a question. That's all you got to do. It doesn't have to be about your products. This is how I think. Like I said, is this going to work for everybody? I don't know. It works for myself. I'm just sharing it with you guys. For myself, the way I do things is if I want to sell something to a customer, I have to think like a customer. What do customers usually ignore? They usually ignore being sold on anything. So in order not to sell them on something, I just need them to come to my page and look at my shit. That's how I do it. That's all I do. I do this all day long. Like I said, I'm, I'm taking a shit, I'm doing it. I'm on my lunch break at work, I'm doing that. And I'm not saying sit by your phone and wait for the person to reply. You could do, let's just say you picked 50 people in the morning. You did this before you went to work, before you go to school, before you do anything in the morning. You hit up 50 people, put your phone in your pocket, maybe around lunchtime, see if anybody even reacted to it. Nobody reacted to it, hit up another fifth. And then put your phone in your pocket, go about your day. Later in the evening, check the messages, see if anybody reacted to it. Keep those conversations rolling for the people that actually do respond to you. And now you're creating that customer relationship because you're actually just talking about random shit. You're not selling them on nothing. Your design and your clothes have to be able to sell itself once they go to your page. So knowing exactly who you're targeting, this is how it helps. It's like if I was selling something to a Laker fan and let's say I had a t-shirt that was purple and yellow and it just said Los Angeles. It didn't say Lakers. It didn't say none of that. It didn't even have nothing to do with basketball. Purple shirt yellow writing that said los angeles easy call go on instagram look up lakers hashtag laker fans hashtag staple center hashtag all these different hashtags that's where your customers are going to live for that shirt now all you're doing is just creating conversations with a bunch of laker fans they're going to go to your page once they go to your page they're going to see that purple and yellow shirt and be like oh damn that's a cool shirt i've never seen that before i could wear that to a game i could wear that to the bar i got some shoes that match that that's how it works but you don't even have to talk about lakers with these laker fans you could go down their page and just talk about whatever they're posting about because curiosity is going to get them to click on your name because they're first going to think do i know this person why is this person asking these questions once they click on your name, like the first three or six pictures show up in the frame of your phone. So in those three to six pictures, 
it would be good for you to have your product photo in there somewhere. So they click on it, be like, oh, check it out. This guy's a Laker fan too. Oh, he's selling this shirt. Let me see how much he sells it for. Once they click through to your bio, you already have them using all your call to actions. Click the link in the bio. They go to the bio, they click the link, they look at the shirt. Oh, this shirt's only 15, 17 bucks. Dope. Now you have customers looking at your stuff. You see what I'm saying? I hope this helps somebody out out there. I get this question a lot. And I know this takes a lot of work and I know a lot of people feel weird about starting conversations with random strangers over social media. But how else are you gonna find your target audience? How else are you gonna find customers? You could pay for ads, you could do all that stuff, that's cool. You have your stuff narrowed down and you have it locked in where you could target a certain audience by sending ads to them, cool. But how many times have you seen ads and just scrolled right by them? Know what I mean? That's how I think. This isn't the only way to do things. This is just the way that I do things. So if this video helped you out, let me know in the comments. If you got questions, let me know in the comments or just keep this conversation rolling in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. We could talk there too, all right? Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.